Sunday. Welcome back. It is JJ's Chop Shop tonight. Um, one of the things that I wanted to share with uh, you guys is something that happens. <laughs> In this particular case, this is the Mocha Griff Light. And I built this today, threw everything together, and I was getting ready to do a video, the build overview video of it, and I was setting it up on Betaflight, and uh, it didn't work. So what had happened, actually, is the FC has got the blue light of death. Um, and I actually got to come back once, but then it's got some five volt regulator issues and it's just uh, not working at all. And this is an F4, okay? Now the HG, this is the HGLRC F438. So a 30 amp, sorry, woo, 38 amp ESC F4 Omnibus. Now, these are great. I usually have no problems with it. This one is brand new and it's been fucked up since the beginning. I'm not really sure what's happened, but the ESC is good, and this happens sometimes. Um, the nice thing about these little stacks, they're 65 bucks, they'll run a full-size bird, very, very nice. But the problem is, if the FC blows, or the ESC blows, you're kind of out of luck, right? Because they're pinned together. So what I'm going to show you how I do this, I'm going to take, this is a Nano F3, or any uh, 20 by 20 flight controller that you want to use and this one has a harness coming out of it like this for your ground your battery voltage in motor one two three and four well actually I think it's one two three and four it doesn't matter um, but see these are pinned so how do you do this right so I'm just gonna share with you guys and I've done this with my brother Shiloh's bird uh, and a couple of others now I'm going to, at the end of this video, put a diagram up of the HGLRC pinout uh, so you know what pins do what. But I already know what these are. Hopefully, you all can see this. Okay? So, what we've got, these two pins here that you can see are cut off. I already cut those off. Those are the voltage. Battery voltage in, battery voltage. Uh, so that's positive, positive. And then these two here are negative and negative. And then we've got one, two, three, and four as far as motors go. So usually what I do, hopefully you guys can see this a little bit. I will spread these out a little bit. Because you're not going to use them anymore as far as um, socketed pins. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Now we're going to spread these out a bit. Bear with me here. Okay. And spread this one a little bit too. Give yourself a little bit of room. All right. And I don't care about these grounds. I'm just going to bend those over. And I'm not, I don't care about the battery voltage either. Now, the, the reason I do it this way is these two that are cut off and these two right here, those are positive and negative. I usually don't fool with those because you're soldering in such a tight space. Usually I'll just tag positive and negative off of here or off of, you know, your, uh, your battery terminal. And then I'll just wire those directly to the flight controller. So then what I do is I take some solder and I tin those while they're long, okay? Bear with me here. So what you wanna do is keep your soldering iron against the pins and heat them up. All right, and that one I got solder connecting the two. That's easily remedied. Heat it up, we're gonna take our tweezers Okay, so then what we're going to do, since I get this off of here, I should probably use some wick for that, that's alright, 
Now what we're going to do, I took a pre-tinned, I pre-tinned these wires here. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder motors one through four on those four pins. And that'll be that. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do this off camera because I do have some solder still connecting those up. I'm going to take some wick and get that off. I'll be right back. All right. Now, again, you probably can't see this. Let me see if I can get this at a better angle for you. I don't know if you can see this or not. Hopefully you can. I got her zoomed in as far as I can go. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to tilt this back. I'm going to take these wires off of here. Positive and negative. Okay. And I'm going to, for ease of soldering, I'm going to take this off. Yeah. So I know for a fact this one's negative. And this one's positive. So that's going to get our battery in. And then I'm going to solder these four into these pins. As long as you've got a reasonably steady hand for this, it's not that bad. And what I found works the best is if you take the wire and lay it over the pin at an angle, kind of like cross it over. Make sure you don't hit the other pins. I'm gonna have to re-solder those. But if you lay it across, there we go. It, uh, instead of trying to line them up perfectly straight, that's really hard to do. Okay, that's it. Then usually what I will do is I will take some hot glue and hot glue those in, okay? So we can lay these down a little bit more. You want to lay these down, just use your thumbnail, gently push. Okay, just like that. And the reason you want to do that is you don't want those pins hitting the flight controller when you put it on, okay? In this case, I'm just gonna use some conformal coat, put it over the tops, keep it a little clean, bam, nothing but a peanut. All right, so then we'll just plug this back in to here, boosh, put this thing on, and we're done. That's it. So those positive, negative, and four motor outputs are going to go into the plug. And then since we've got our positive and negative, the board should be powered and everything will be nice and copacetic. So what we could do to test this, let's just make sure everything works. Watch this thing go up in fucking flames. <laughs> See if the light comes on. Now, the one thing I didn't do, there it is. Perfect. The one thing I didn't do was I did not um, pay attention to which motor leads are going to which pins. I don't care. As long as I have four motor wires going to four motor pins, I will remap it. But if you want to be a little bit more careful than me, um, then you could, you know, really plan it out and and get it all nice, but I don't care. I remap everything. So I'm gonna pop this baby back together and hopefully be back soon for the review of this bird. Hope this helps kids. Here's the wiring diagram. Bam, take care. Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing. Bam, JJ!
Very JJ. <laughs>